From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. I'm starting to think that the person who first said flattery will get you nowhere never did voiceover through a Neumann U89. Because the low mids on this microphone are more flattering than I think any other microphone I have in my collection. So this is the Neumann U89, not a U87, which means right off the bat it's already too better. Now, so what happened was a few weeks ago, I'm on the phone with Jonathan, head of sales at Neumann. He's like, hey man, don't look at the U87 for voiceover, look at the U89. And I'm like, what are you even talking about? He's like, no, the U89 was designed to replace the U87. Specifically, it was designed to suppress some of that vocal resonance that happens in the upper mid. Now, you know that Neumann 87 honk, right? On some people, it works and some people it really doesn't work because some on some people it just digs like way deep into your sinus cavity and just pulls out the worst possible tone so what they did was they suppressed it in this microphone so it's a lot more smooth through the upper mids it doesn't have that pokey upper mid forward it really has more of a lower mid forward thing going on and that really has to do with the transformer in here now the capsule in this microphone is much different it's a k89 it's an edge terminated capsule it's very very flat very 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 neutral the circuit also very neutral but what you're getting is the combination of this neutral capsule and neutral circuit and this great transformer squish that gives it this beautiful warm push between really about 200 and 500. and so it's really, it's not upper mid forward. It's a little bit lower mid forward. It's definitely more, I would say, if you look at the 87 and you wanted to describe it as hyped, this is more honest. And that's what I really like about it. Because I have plenty of examples of a, of a hyped U87 uh, upper mid forward tonality. But what I really, really need to, I think, fill out my, my toolkit is something that flatters a little bit more in the lower mid, something that's good for narration. And good for some, some commercial work too, but you know, it's not as aggressive. But this is the amazing thing about this microphone. There's a lot of EQ on here, right? But it takes EQ great. Now I'm gonna take the EQ off and check this out. So this is the flat sound of the microphone. It sounds like I'm talking through a mattress, right? And a part of that is also because of this booth. So let me pop the EQ on. So this is how malleable this sound is a redler over at the microphone assassin discord server aka the after party he described this the sound of an 89 really the sound of this capsule as just a beautiful chunk of soft marble from which you can carve your tone which you can really carve i think almost any kind of tonality the way this is responding to eq is so amazing i mean it's not folding on the high end it doesn't feel brittle it doesn't feel weird and that was the other thing i didn't like about the u87 um a couple you know the the u87 experiences i've had on a u87 ai have varied um what the first time i tried one i thought that the high end was way too brittle i thought it was i was way too sibilant on it and then the second one really had more of a honk in it. There was an inconsistency between them. And I think there were different generations of AI. But I didn't like the sound of my voice on the AI. I thought the low end was just kind of a little bit too anemic. I thought the high end was too much. And again, the 87 and the 87 AI were designed were, were designed in the era of tape to record to tape and to accommodate that, um, you know, low end tape bump and the high end tape roll off. So, but the U89... This is a microphone that people record orchestras with. It's a microphone that people, you know, record vocals with. It's a microphone that is designed for close-up voice work. And as you can hear, I mean, it's really smooth. It's really nice. And I do think it's very flattering on the low mids of my voice. So here, let me just, let me just, let's run some copy through it real quick. All right, here we go. In the vast savannas, an intriguing creature roams. The mongoose. With keen instincts and lightning-fast reflexes, it navigates its world, hunting snakes with unwavering bravery. Welcome, the, <laughs> welcome to the mesmerizing world of the mongoose. All right, and then more of a commercial thing. Introducing Mongoose Hut, where culinary delights come to life. Indulge in the exotic flavors of our signature mongoose dishes, prepared with passion and served with flair. Discover a dining experience like no other, Mongoose Hut, where exceptional taste awaits. So yeah, it's multi-purpose. Whatever your mongoose copy needs are, I think this can handle it. So um, 
the Neumann U89. There's definitely going to be more about this microphone as I, I just, I mean, I just got it yesterday. The opportunity kind of came up to pick this up at an incredible price and I couldn't turn it down. So yeah, we'll be talking more about the Neumann U89 in the future, for sure. All right, Nation, what do you think? Neumann U89. Did I, I'm sorry, if if I just inflamed your, your gear acquisition syndrome, if I just inflamed your, your gas, I apologize, but I got to tell you, there is there has been so little talk about the Neumann U89 for voiceover, and I'm just baffled by it, because I think this really is an incredible microphone on voice. All right, leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.